everyone, my name is Rifki Abdurrahman and my student number 119. I'm from Gender Literature and Culture Class A. So, today I'm going to present analysis codes of gender on a sorrowful woman by Gail Godwin. So, the reason why I choose this text is because um, this is a uh, fit in the in the analysis and portrays the feminist idea and the problem also the cause of gender itself and a sorrowful woman is a text a short story so everything about the text a sorrowful woman uh, is a short story by Gail Godwin in which a young wife and mother su suffer from depression Godwin depicts uh, the young mother as a kind of a uh, cloistered queen and the husband as a noble prince. One day, the young mother become, becomes uh, sick, physically ill at the sight of her son and husband. She is overwhelmed by the thought of caring for the house. So her husband hires a nanny. The woman retreats into her bedroom and begins communicating solely uh, by passing notes under the, her door. One day, she she comes downstairs and prepares, prepares a big meal only to die in her room that evening. So, here I'm going to uh, answer the question uh, from Aula. Number one, identify a codes of gender. Number two, does your text uh, challenge or affirm accepted gender, gender roles in the society where the text of your choice emerge? Number three, is there any shift or change? or transformation of image of femininity and masculinity in your text. Uh, number four, if so, have, have this change been successful or unsuccessful? Answer number one, uh, a sorrowful woman which come from this collection creates an ironic fable about a woman who can no longer accept her role as wife and mother. The role uh, that patriarch, patriarchal myth have defined as the proper role for women. Answer number two in the text shows that the woman not accept the gender roles in the society and challenge it. Number three, it's significant that Sorrowful Woman was published in 1976 to us uh, 40 plus years later. The story can, can seem dated because women are no longer routinely confined the household and child care duties. Most women in our culture now work outside the home and their income is significant and necessary contribution to the family finance. More women today are also single and function, functioning as a single parents without the aid of a nurturing spouse. Number four, this change has been successful for me. So the more uh, analysis on this text, a collection of her early short story, she explained the life of women who are disappointed, betrayed, and lost. Women are desperately trying to escape their unfulfilled, unfulfilled life. A sorrowful woman, which comes from this collection, creates an ironic fable to, about a woman who can no longer accept her role as wife and mother. The role that patriarchal myth have defined as the proper, proper role of our women, feminists have pointed out how women are trapped by a feminine mystic that hold them up as a perfect nurturer or caretakers. To rebel against such a role was once a diagnosed as a sickness. This trap or mystic uh, is a what the story protagonist is fighting against. But she sees no alternative or nor she nor can she define or clearly express her problem. The sorrowful woman represents a type of woman who was not meant to be defined as a wife and mother who finds herself trapped with no option. In more analysis, this leads to more significant critique of the story that when protagonist, the sorrowful woman, is clearly the privileged white woman. She has a husband who is capable of supporting the family and comfort on his full income. There is ample food in the house. The wife has no room of her own. She come retreat to, and the husband can afford to hire caretaker to assume his wife duties in the home. 
woman of color, working class woman, and third world woman might look aghast at this woman's problem as not so much problem but the byproduct of too much privilege leading to self-absorption. Many women then and now cannot afford the luxury of being depressed but and sitting in the room reading books. Many have critiqued the, the feminism of Godwin's period for this focus on women and of an affluent means looking for self actualization actual actualization. It has been applied note that under women of the period had to deal with rape abusive husband, exploitative work condition, unsafe neighborhood, and myriad of other social problems. So the conclusion here, to focus on what the story is then what is it is not. We can look at it uh, through a psychological lens as an accurate portrait of the way clinical depression can shut the person down into the world of anger and withdrawal that might lead to suicide. We can discuss if there were more effective intervention the husband might have tried. We can talk about the importance of communication. And while not dismissing the economic pain and violence, class privilege men and women have suffered and suffered due, due to class, race, and ethnic discrimination, most of us aspire to lead the most uh, fulfilled life possible. Godwin's story can show us that there is more to good life than mere material abundance. So here's the bibliography. Thank you.